Alright, so this is a very quick video on my PBL trainer, so just click the link in the description and you should get to this page. So it's gonna pop up sign up, just don't worry too much about that. I don't think you really need an account. And here's the code, don't really worry too much about this either, I can just put this to the side. And up here it has some other stuff, just don't worry too much about that either. What we do want to worry about is just pressing run. So here is my playlist for the PBL tutorial series. So if you want to go learn some PBLs, here it is. So obviously this is a PBL uh, trainer, so you can go ahead and click this link if you have any PBLs that you don't know from this trainer. And maybe figure out what's a better solution to it. Alright, so first it says you expect all your PBLs to be sub blank. So here you would enter a number, it could be a decimal or a whole number. So basically this program has a timer in it and if you get a PBL and the time you get for that PBL is above this time you enter in, it puts it in a list called bad PBLs. So if you have a certain PBL that is in that list of bad PBLs, uh, it's going to train extra hard onto those PBLs, it's going to make it more likely to get those PBLs. And once you get that PBL under this amount of time, it's going to remove from the list. But also you can put 0 seconds here, obviously you can't get sub 0, but what that's going to do is it's going to make it um, not have any bad PBL list. So if you just don't want to deal with bad PBLs and just want to go through all PBLs, uh, you can just press 0. Personally, I'm just going to type in 6, so I'm just going to type in 6 and press enter. And the trainer should start. So here's a scramble, ready means that the timer is ready to start when I want it to, so I'll go ahead and do the scramble. Alright, now I did the scramble. Now I can start it by pressing enter. And when I see these three dots, that means the timer is running right now. And I can do my solve. So now I'm done with my solve. I can just press enter again. And that should end my solve. So here's my time, 12.7. And as you can see, bad people count is 1 because 12 is above the 6 seconds that I've set. And as you can see, automatically it pumps out a new scramble. Uh, since this was a bad PBL, the chances of this scramble appearing in my next one is a bit higher. But since it's just one uh, PBL, it's not as likely, so I can still move on to this next PBL. And as you can see, it's a different PBL, so I'll go ahead and do this one. So once again, I'll press enter to start the timer. As you can see, bad PBL count is still 1, because the time of 3 seconds is still below uh, 6 seconds I've set for uh, what I expect all my people to be sub blank. So after all this, maybe you want to change what your expectation for your uh, PBL should be. Maybe you want to make it 5 seconds because you realize that you're a bit faster at PBL. So you can just go ahead here and press run again. And that should reset the whole program. You do want to be a bit careful with pressing run because your bad PBL list will all be reset once you press run as well as the whole program. So. Uh, if you do have a lot of PBLs in your bad PBL list and you don't want to reset them, probably you shouldn't reset the whole thing. So you might get something like this, an error, and if you get any errors like this, just go ahead and reset it and it should fix that. Finally, if you do want to stop your session, go ahead here and once it says ready, just type in end. Once you type it in, it gives you all the PBLs you should work on. These are all the PBLs in your bad PBLs list, so you can go ahead and copy paste all of these and practice them a bit more. Here it just ends the program, so you can restart it obviously by pressing run again. So that's it for this video, pretty quick one, but I just want to release uh, this timer for you guys. Uh, hope you guys can use this and it's helpful. Uh, the link will be in the description. If you have any problems with this timer, any questions or any bugs you want to let me know, please leave a comment so I can try to fix them as soon as possible. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys.